Hey everyone, here's another medical terminology practice problems lesson. So like other practice lessons, we're going to take the knowledge we've learned from the medical terminology, the basics, and the anatomy lesson series, and we're going to use it knowledge to work on practice problems. So the first part we're going to look at is xerostomia. Xerostomia, if we break it down, zero, zero means dryness or a dry condition. Stomia, the ia part of stomia is a suffix meaning condition. Stome or stoma or stomata or stomato means mouth. So stomia is a condition of the mouth. When we put this all together, zero stomia means a condition of dryness in the mouth. The next word we're going to look at is pyothorax. Pyothorax, we break it down again, pyo. Pyo means pus. And thorax, thorax means the chest wall. So pyothorax means a condition of pus in the chest wall or the thorax. And another word for pyothorax is empyema. You might have heard of empyema before. And it itself is a bit different and a little bit harder to um, decipher. But if you can think of the pi or in the empyema, that might help you remember the pus. Um, part of this word. The next word we're going to look at is steatorrhea. So again, we break it down, steato. Steato means fat or fatty tissue. Rhea, rhea, you can think of flow, discharge, or passage, so we can remember from diarrhea. So steatorrhea, when we put this together, simply means a passage of abnormally high amounts of fat in feces. The next word we're going to look at is xerophthalmia. Xerophthalmia, again, we break it down, that first portion of the word, the prefix zero means dryness or dry condition. Ophthalmia is a condition of the eye or some eye condition. You can think of ophthalm, ophthalmo, ophthalmology, ophthalm means eye. Ia is, again, a suffix for condition. So ophthalmia is eye condition. Xerophthalmia then means a condition of dryness of the eye. The next word is mastopexy. So we break that word down, masto. Masto means mammary gland or breast. Pexy, pexy means surgical fixation. So when we put this word together, mastopexy means a, um, a sur surgical fixation of the mammary gland or surgical fixation of the breast. It literally means, or it actually means plastic surgery to lift uh, sagging breast tissue. The next word is pneumothorax. So again, we break this word down, pneumo. Pneumo means lung, but it also means air. Uh, thorax, again, is the chest wall. So pneumothorax is a condition of air in the chest wall or air in the thorax. So pneumothorax is a condition of air in the thorax. The next word we're going to look at is prostatodynia. We break that word down, prostato, prostato, we can think of the prostate gland. Dinia, dinia is a suffix denoting pain or a condition of pain. So what it really means is prostatodynia means a painful condition of the prostate gland. The next word is perineoplastic. Perineoplastic, we break this word down again. Para, para means nearby. We could break down neoplastic into smaller pieces. Neo means new, plast or plasm means growth. Essentially, neoplastic means a condition denoting, or it's a condition of new abnormal growth of a tumor. So what does this word really mean, perineoplastic? When we put this together, it really means nearby a abnormal growth, nearby a tumor. So what does that mean? Well, it's actually, uh, we hear of near perineoplastic syndromes. It's signs or symptoms occurring in a patient with cancer resulting from antibodies or hormones produced by the cancer. So perineoplastic or perineoplastic syndromes have to do with hormones and and or antibodies produced by the cancer, by the tumor, that cause symptoms in the patient. So it's essentially nearby the tumor, um, but it really doesn't mean that. It's really a, an odd one to kind of break down and, 
and decipher, but uh, perineoplastic really means a signs or symptoms occurring in a patient with cancer resulting from antibodies or hormones produced by the cancer. The next word we're going to look at is osteomalacia. Osteomalacia, so we break that down. Osteo. Osteo means bone. And malacia, we've learned that malacia means softening or it's a condition of softening. So osteomalacia really means a condition of softening of bone. The next word is omphalocele. Omphalocele, we break that word down again. Omphalo. Omphalo means umbilical cord or the navel or the belly button. Seal is a suffix meaning herniation. So an omphalocele is actually an umbilical hernia. The next word is dermatophytosis. So again, we just break it down into pieces that we can decipher. Dermato or derm. We can think of skin or pertaining to the skin. Phyte or phyto means pertaining to plants. And oses, you might have heard of osis, means condition or abnormal condition. So oses is the plural of that. It means abnormal conditions. So when we put this together, dermatophytosis, it doesn't really make sense. Abnormal conditions of, uh, or abnormal plant conditions of the skin doesn't really make sense. But what it really means is fungal conditions of the skin. And I'm not sure why this word has phyto in it, but plants aren't fungi, but in this word, it is actually meaning fungal condition of the skin. So dermatophytoses are actually fungal conditions of the skin. And these conditions are some conditions such as ringworm. The next word we're going to look at is episiotomy. So we break it down again. Episio means vulva. Otomy or tommy means incision or cutting. So an episiotomy is an incision of the vulva, and this can be done during the delivery of a baby to help the delivery of the child. The next word we're going to look at is karyolysis. Karyolysis, so break it down again, karyo. You might think of the word karyotype. So what does karyo mean? Karyo is a prefix meaning nucleus. And lysis, we've heard of lysis before, hemolysis. Lysis means breakdown, so karyolysis means breakdown of the nucleus. The next word is leukonychia. Again, we break it down. We know what leuko is. Leuko is a prefix meaning white. Nick or nikia. Again, ia is condition. Nick normally refers to the nail, so it's a condition pertaining to the nails. So what does this mean? Leukonychia means white discoloration of the nails. The next word is odinophagia. Odinophagia. So we break it down again. Odino. We saw this before. We saw din or dinia means pain or painful. Phagia, you can think of phagocytes. Phagia means to eat, consume, ingest. So odinophagia means painful eating or ingesting or pain while swallowing. The next word is sialorrhea. So we're going to break it down. Sialo means salivary or salivation. In rhea, we've already talked about this before, it means flow, discharge, or passage. So sialorrhea is actually an abnormal discharge flow of saliva. And it's usually a increased salivation. The next word is dishydrotic. We break it down again. Dis means abnormal. Hydrotic. Ick means condition. Hydro refers to sweating. So dishydrotic means, or hydrotic is a suffix meaning sweating or a condition of sweating. Dishydrotic means condition of abnormal sweating. The next word is dacryoadenitis. We break it down again. Dacryo, we might not remember what this prefix means. We're not, we don't use it typically, but dacryo means tears or lacrimal or something to do with um, lacrimation. Adene, you can think of adenopathy. What does adene or adeno stand for? Well, it means gland. And itis is inflammation. So dacryoadenitis, if we can just basically put it together, tear gland inflammation. And basically that's what it means is inflammation of a lacrimal or a tear gland. 
The next word is apraxia. So we break it down again. The A is actually a prefix that means lack of. Praxia, praxia again, ia is a condition. Prax, praxia means a motor activity. So apraxia is a lack of motor activity. The next one is cholecentigraphy. Cholecentigraphy. So we break it down again. Choly, we can think of cholecystectomy. So cholecystitis. What does that have to do with uh, cholecyst means gallbladder? In this context, choly means bile or the gallbladder or something to do with the biliary tree. Sint or scintigraphy. Sint is a radio tracer imaging. And graphy means process of recording. So when we put this together, cholecystography is diagnostic imaging of the gallbladder and biliary tree using radioisotopes. And the last word is proptosis. So what does proptosis mean? Pro, we know pro means proceeding. Ptosis, ptosis is a lower position of an organ or a displacement of an organ. So we can think of the word ptosis in general, we think of um, drooping eyelids. So proptosis is a little bit different. It's, it's not quite in the meaning when we actually break it down. Proceeding displacement of an organ, you can kind of make sense of it, but really what it means is for displacement of an organ. And an example of proptosis is generally with eyes, so it's a bulging out of the eyes or a forward displacement of the eye. But generally, proptosis means a forward displacement of an organ. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this lesson helpful. That was another practice problems lesson uh, for the medical terminology series. If you found this lesson helpful, please like, subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.